And that basically boils down to one question for me. Was Greg Monroe Bloggs being sincere when he was talking about his desire to save William? Or was he being disingenuous for YouTube? If he was sincere, that's promoting metaphysics, theology. I don't agree. But if he was talking about social issues, about authoritarian culture, about social questions like codes of conduct well realistically I'm for sexual liberation because I'm for small government and that's because I'm against social engineering but that means I'm also not a social progressive because my view is uh, you can have it or you can take it just the government isn't involved in enforcing it or prohibiting it that's all my that's as far as I go on that and that means that I have Well, I basically have a vested interest in both sides, to be honest. But, now, if he was really sincere, well, I'm not sure that isn't his religious freedom. And I don't know, even if I disagree with it very seriously, especially with the precedent that puts in our culture that uh, it should be accepted or not. You see, I support the cultural tradition, but I don't support the big government, the social engineering. Either way, his way, atheist way, any way, it doesn't need to be. So I want to know what we're really arguing about. Are we really arguing about disrespect for a man who killed himself? Or are we talking about, and let's just really get it out there, someone who's freaking saying, look, your lifestyle is junk, and he killed himself because he knew it. There's the real freaking argument. In, they're almost one and the same except religiously you're drinking the Kool-Aid ideologically you're handing it out so these are the things I think of when I hear these kind of freaking topics and, and I don't want to hear this freaking oh boo hoo respect for the dead the dead don't dance we the living are the ones that matter and I would like to know which answer is correct without all the ideological or metaphysical garbage that goes with it 
because it might matter to the next person down the line or the next or maybe there's something in medical science that isn't being addressed because we think it's a social value and if that's freaking his religious mania or freaking somebody else's freaking diversity choice it needs to be freaking rectified if there is any absolute answer at all and not just a set of subjective values which probably is so that's where I'm from 